Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Why am I standing way up on a chair? And what are we gonna make today for a meal? I hope you stay tuned. Welcome back to my video. Today I'm making a meal that's fit for a king, but it's with a pauper's income. I'm up in my cupboards because we are using up what we got. Now I'm sure that the it's going to be a little dark, the lighting, but that C. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, Tessie. Now how many women will open up their cupboard doors and show you what's inside? Well, we got green beans. Now way back here, I thought I had a can of tomato juice. Now I can my own tomato juice, but I remembered I had one back here. So we're gonna use this. And we got some barley in here. I think we'll use some of that. All right, what else do we need? Let's see, I need some of that. Might as well organize this just a little bit while I'm up here. I need some of this olive oil. We'll put that over there for now. What else do we got in here, Tessie girl? Tessie girl, what else do we got? Quick cook. Hmm, that's gonna be for another meal. Okay, I think I got everything. Do I need more than one green bean? Probably not. All right. All right, so what are we gonna cook today? We got some carrots, we got some cabbage, we got some potatoes, we got some ground beef that is home canned, corn, and we got all this stuff I got out of the cupboard. Well, today we are going to make a simple, old fashioned vegetable soup. My daughters are coming over because it's Thrifty Thursday coming up and I have to make a meal. And also we're gonna make some homemade bread using this. Those of you who missed this video, this is gifts in a jar and this was making your own bread mix in a jar. So this is so simple in a matter of a minute, I can mix this loaf of bread up and we're gonna have a homemade meal. So let me get everything Organize and we'll get ready to start the video. Today it's really using up what you got. I have some old wrinkly potatoes. Now there's nothing wrong with them, but they're not very nice. So I am going to peel these for in the soup. Normally I leave the potato peelings on, but they are so wrinkly and they have some sprouts on them that we have to peel them. I'm going to go ahead and peel them and I'm going to peel some of my carrots. So we're going to go ahead and peel these carrots. They're not very nice as well. I'm gonna peel these and then we are going to chop them up really fine and use them in the soup. It's one of those days we just gotta use it up and that's what we're gonna do. So the whole point of my videos now are to show you, instead of throwing things away, how you can use them. And the number one thing that people throw away in this world that we live in, especially in the Eastern part, especially in, in the United States and Canada and Europe, people throw away food. And food is the number one thing that we should not be throwing away whatsoever. Food is one of our highest expenses in living and really it shouldn't be. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and peel these and then I'll get right back to you. All right, so now what we're gonna do is put everything together. We have this one can of tomato juice. I reuse these cans for heating wax for my candles, so I'll be glad for that. Then I'm gonna add a can of tomatoes. Now this is all stuff I found in my pantry. So we're trying to get rid of all the pantry things, the store-bought cans. We add green beans. And now we're gonna add my home canned corn. Now I am gonna add the liquid to it. That's where all the nutrients are in. Now it's starting to look like soup. Here we have home canned ground beef. Now, if you're really conscious of not eating fat, you can just skim some of the fat off the top. But a little bit of fat does give flavor. One thing about home canning is when you can your own 
the fat and stuff like that, it will rise to the top. So we have all of that. Look how good this is starting to look. So I have some of this and we're gonna go ahead and add, add some of this to it to make more broth. So I think it's two teaspoons per one cup. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of cabbage in it. Like I said, we're using everything that we can find to make this soup. Put the barley in raw or grandma cooked the barley separate. I am cooking it separate, but I'll show you when I put it in. Now you're wondering about seasoning. I'm not seasoning it until it gets hot. Then I will taste it and we will add salt and pepper to it or whatever we need. Some people also put a bay leaf in it. So you could put a bay leaf in it. Now we're gonna cook that and we're gonna work on the bread. All right, so now we're gonna make our homemade bread. One of these makes one loaf and I did a video on this. This is one of the ways that you can really reduce your time in the kitchen and that is by making meals in a jar. It's a beautiful gift as well and you can use these for Christmas gifts or it can help your pantry. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make this. All I need to add to this mix is one and a half cups of warm water and three tablespoons of butter or oil and two teaspoons of yeast. This mixture is already pre-made. One of these is a perfect loaf. All right, in five minutes, butter. I'll get back to and we'll add the yeast. And now we're just gonna add a pinch of the sugar. And it looks like it is foaming very nicely. So that looks like it's going to be perfect. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna add the water to all of this and the yeast. You would enjoy me using this. So it's made to go under your arm. We did a lot of research on it and it's made to work like this. So we're just gonna keep mixing, mixing and mixing. We're gonna mix this about 10 minutes and we may need to add more flour to it. Three minutes into it and it's starting to get like bread dough. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, now we're gonna add the barley. I don't think I needed to cook it separate, but I just couldn't remember. All right, so this is the dough. It's ready to rise now. So we're gonna go and put it right back in our bucket. And we are going to put a cover over it. And it's gonna rise for about two hours. And then when it's totally risen to the top here, we're gonna punch it down and then we will put it in our loaf pan and then let it rise again. So all that's gonna take a couple hours and I will get back to you when everything is starting to look finished. All right, the bread is risen. So the bread is risen. Might make it, let it rise just maybe another 15 minutes. I put the soup down below. So while the soup was cooking, the heat was helping the bread to rise. All right, we'll put it in the oven and then I'll show you the complete meal. Well, everyone, it's been a couple hours later. One thing about cooking from scratch, it's very frugal, but it takes a long time to do it. And so the bread is finished. Now I am not gonna cut it until it cools off, but I did wanna show you the soup and I wanted to show you the bread. The soup is amazing. I gave it a taste test and I'll just show you the meal. All right, everyone, take care and we'll see you guys tomorrow and let me show you my homemade bread. This makes a huge difference when you use parchment paper. The pan is totally clean. You don't even have to wash it. It smells absolutely amazing. I make sure I put plenty of butter on it so it's nice and soft. And there is the soup. Doesn't that look so good? 
I love having the barley in it. I'm going to be having barley in all of my soup from now on. It just makes it more hearty and it makes it a little more thicker. Take care, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.